Hey, what's going on guys? It is last year. Welcome to episode number 9 of the Bite the Bullet series with Luis Suarez. We're doing pretty good so far and we are quite close to having a full Barca team, um, but not the whole load of players that we should get eventually. Not the big ones like Neymar or Messi yet. But first off, if you guys are looking for any ultimate team coins, check out the FIFA shop.co.uk. Use my code LA5TY. That'll get you a 10% discount and the link you need is down below in the description. If you could go ahead and go ham on those likes, smash that like button. That That'd be absolutely amazing. I want to say thanks for all the support you've given me so far on this series. Now, we go into our first game and we come up against this. And it's pretty much my fault really, isn't it? Because I did a video and the three-tier Serie A squad builder thing that I did earlier. And, well, I'm not surprised to see a bunch of Serie A players in my, t in my opponent's team right now. And it's... Well, we'll see what happens. I don't want to give anything away, but it's a stressful time. I, you may have seen me if you tweet, uh, if you follow me on Twitter, you may have me uh, seen me tweet that I was having a bit of a bad day on FIFA, and this man was contributing to that reason. It's Victor Ibarbo. The guy is just a god. I can't catch him. I can't defend against him. He is literally Jesus Christ and God and every other god mixed into one, if you think about it, in an ultimate team sense. Um, we do get an, a, an equaliser right there with Luis Suarez. Cross in the box from Munir, and that is a solid header into the back of the net. If he'd have missed that one, I think I'd have been extremely pissed. Um... We accidentally give a penalty away. I swear I only pressed B once and it tugged his shirt. He went over and they gave the penalty away. And we are 2-1 down just before half time. How frustrating is that? Uh, but it does show that it's been a relatively equal match. My opponent having slightly the upper hand. And in the second half, I don't know really what happened. But I just went to shit. It really went badly for me. Um, the good thing is, we know that I've scored a goal with Suarez. That's two shots in the bank. And um, we could possibly lose one of those shots if we lose this game. Well, as you can see, we're going to lose this game. This is not going well so far. So we are going to definitely get at least one shot on the target. At least there's not going to be none, which is good. Um, my defender screw up right there. He gets through again. He scores the easiest goal that he's had all game. I honestly... I couldn't get an opportunity like that against him. He had a very solid defence. I think his defence was League One, the French League. But everything seemed to be working for him. Like that, my defenders are running into each other after he's just hit the craziest shot you'll ever see off the bar. It's just it wasn't quite working for me. My shots didn't seem to be going in the back of the net when I did get through. But that is the luck of the draw with FIFA. Sometimes it just doesn't happen for you. I would have expected that one to go in the back of the net. But so be it. It doesn't really matter. We lose the game 5-1. That's my biggest defeat in a long time in any FIFA game. I don't typically lose by that many goals. We got one goal with Suarez, so we have got one shot on the target to hit a Barcelona player. Now, who is that going to be? Are we going to hit anyone? We take the shot, and the player that it lands on is Sergio Busquets. A pretty solid player to land on. Seems, well, that is exactly who I was aiming for at that point, and I'm so glad that I hit him in just one shot because, well... Sergio Roberto or Sergi Roberto, whatever he's called in that CDM spot, he's not a CDM. He's only got 53 defending. So I'm extremely glad to replace him with an 85 rated. That's the best and highest rated person we have hit on this bullet so far. Thank you, Lord. We've got we've got a good CDM in the squad right now. So we switch things over and go to our hybrid squad. As you can see, Suarez has got 21 goals, 6 assists in the 15 games that we've played. We go into this one and he has got a very, very solid team. He's got Benzema, Griezmann and then sort of like a Serie A thing with likes of Quadrado, Pogba. Very, very strong players. And we nearly hit the, the free kick of the century there with Suarez. But it doesn't quite work out for us. However, literally a minute or so later, we get through into the box and he's that clinical that one was going in the back of the net I would have gone mental if that didn't go in uh, but we go 1-0 up which is pretty solid we then pretty much straight away get through again but Pedro just misses the target that would have been nice to really sort of um, what is it Spencer calls it a misery compiler if we'd have been able to pile on that misery to my opponent early doors but it doesn't quite work out that way and actually a few minutes later he manages to get an equalizer on me that's not great we then get another chance there with Quadrado a little bit gutted that that one didn't go in the back of the net I really saw that one going in but then he goes down the other end scores a goal we're now 2-1 down in a match that I was feeling pretty confident comfortable in and the one that we were actually winning to start off with we do however get back into this game with Quadrado what a god I love the man 
He truly is one of the better players on Ultimate Team, and uh, he's worth a f he's worth a ton to me on Ultimate Team because he's just got pretty much everything you need. We then get a fantastic header saved and put onto the bar, uh, and as you can see from the first half stats, very equal game. Us just having slightly better chances. I then mess this up. I'm through one on one. I thought he's bringing the goalkeeper out. It turns out he was just faking me. I try to chip him, and it frigging goes over. Uh, I mean, goes straight into his hands. I just completely screwed that up I was one-on-one -on -one. that was the chance which really would have put me ahead in this game uh, and made things a lot easier as it turns out 70 minutes roll around on the clock he plays through Quadrado and he scores Quadrado then works his way into the box again sticks it back to Benzema who sticks it in and in five minutes he has misery compiled me as Spencer Rowan would say and we're now 4-2 down I then get through one-on-one. -on -one. I miss the chance. How gutting is that? We then play another ball through one-on-one -on -one with Quadrado. I'm expecting that to be a goal, but he gets two defenders back and manages to defend it. Uh, and in the end, I'm beaten by a better opponent, I think. I think he actually did deserve to lose that game in the end. But don't worry. We scored one goal with Suarez. So once you take off the loss, we get one shot on the target. Now that's going to have to count and as you can see we hit the bullseye for the first time in this series. That is a plus 25,000 coins. Thank you very much. That takes our total from 22,000 all the way up to 47,000 in just one shot. So even though we lost the match, it's actually worked out fantastically luckily for us. If you wouldn't mind smashing a like on the video, that would be absolutely great, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Leave your comments down below. Hopefully we'll get some wins in the next episode. And I thank you for watching and I'll catch you next time. Peace.